<laughs> okay, one, two, three, go. Hi everyone! Hi. A very warm welcome to my channel. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Hi everyone! A very warm welcome to my channel, Book, Line and Sinker! Well, once again, I have with me Ida and Swara. And we went to the bookstore. And we're going to take you with us on a journey which we went through. Yes, we went to the bookstore. We're going to take you with us on our little trip. If you're new to my channel, I'm Nimisha. I'm a voice artist and a book lover. And on this channel, uh, and on this channel, and on this channel, <laughs> we have inspiring conversations on books and all things related. I do book reviews, recommendations, author specials, reading tips. So if you enjoy the content today, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and turn on the notifications. Well, let's go to the bookstore. Bell icon. Bell icon. <laughs> We're off to the bookstore. what we bought so far. So who wants to go first? Me. Decide. Me. Eeny, meeny, mina, mo. <laughs> okay, let's Okay. Just... Who's going first? Me. Okay, go. Okay, so I got two books and the first one I got was Ahimsa and um, she wrote a book about Indian independence and how a 10 year old girl gets trapped unwillingly because her mother joined the Indian independence movement and how she has to give up her um, foreign clothes and how she has to f um, get rid of the biases against the untouchables and um, and it's a really touching book. Okay. So I really recommend you read it. Um, the second book I got is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. This is the abridged version of it. Um, it's detective stories basically and how Sherlock Holmes solves every one of them. Okay, wow, great. Swara, do you want to go next? Yes, sure. My first book is Amar Chitra Khata and it has five stories in it. The first story is how the jackal ate the elephant. Is that the name? Yeah, and the second story is basically, I don't remember all the stories name, but I, I think it's the frog and the king snake. The Frog King and the Snake. Okay, sounds good. It's okay if you don't remember the names. And the You're... next story is The Lion, the Jackal and the Donkey. It's about a jackal who has, who finds different animals and and so so the jackal could eat but then another jackal came and 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 ate the elephant because they had a fight. And next and the second story is the Thias, the Treasure Seekers, and it's about the Thias sisters. They find a treasure map, and they and they have to find a treasure which was discovered by a young ex explorer. But then there's thieves. They have to find the treasure and get the map before the thieves get their paws on the treasure. 
Oh, wow. Have you finished it no. already? Okay. No. Great. Awesome. And now it's my turn. Okay. So I got three books. Uh, so Hail Dave, Palace of Illusions and... Uh, Sex and Manatee. First time I'm going to talk about Suhail Dev, which I have just finished yesterday. This was written uh, by Amish Tripathi. It's his latest book. This is based on King Suhail Dev's battle with the Turks led by first Muhammad of Ghazni and then uh, by his nephew Salar Maksud. Of course, in typical Amish style, there's a lot of drama. It's really racy, uh, you know, historic facts, uh, some of it, uh, you know, masala-fied. So uh, it's a very typical Amish book if you enjoy his writing and uh, you know the angle of history you're gonna like this one I had a sense at the end that there might, this also might be a trilogy similar to the ones which he has done because in the next book he might be talking about another kingdom of the south I'm not gonna give you any spoilers but interesting the second book which I've got is the palace of illusions by Chitra Banerjee Devakurni now, I've already read uh, Forest of Enchantment by her, which is Sita's interpretation of the Ramayan. And I enjoyed her writing. It's very beautiful, very lyrical and um, very interesting. Uh, something completely contrary from what I uh, what I expected. Um, it's, it's beautifully written, which is why I picked this one up, which is Palace of Illusions. This is Draupadi's interpretation of the Mahabharata. <laughs> yes this one is drop these interpretation of the Mahabharat I'm barely 20 pages into it but because I like um, Chitra's writing so much I'm quite enjoying this one as well the third one is Kevin Kwan sex and vanity I like Kevin Kwan. You've not even I, read this book. No, I haven't read this book, but I enjoyed Crazy Rich Asians. A lot of people thought like, oh my God, it's so flippant and fake and whatever. But I, I had a really fun time reading it. Uh, it was one of those beach reads, mindless fun and uh, you know sometimes you gotta read stuff which is not uh, terribly intellectual all the time and which does not necessarily have to have some sort of meaning behind it and that's what I like about Kevin Kwan's writing I think he um, I think his characters are fun I think his writing is fun and also he gives a very insightful interpretation of the rich and famous and their uppity and uh, you know their uppity behaviors so uh, which is what I'm kind of expecting from this book as well I'm gonna take my time to read this because I'm not in a hurry to finish it off it's going to be you know as and when I'm in the mood and uh, I'll tell you about it once I'm finished but yeah in typical Kevin Kwan style I expect this to be light you know, really light. Well, that was our book haul <laughs> at the bookstore. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You already said all this stuff. I did in the beginning, but I have to remind everybody to do it. Please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Well, until the next book, Bye-bye!